we're in Utah. Van Lifer drove off the road in the canyon. I don't know how. It's completely dry. It's 36 degrees. The sun is shining. We're going up to Brighton. It's the middle of the afternoon. And we're going to go have a park day. A park couple hours. Yeah, a park couple hours is right. We're camped out just south of Salt Lake a little ways. And we're going to spend the next few days here. 39 degrees. Warmest it's been our entire trip. Heading down the canyon after what turned out to be an incredible day at Brighton Resort. We got there, I don't know what time we got it, there. We got on the lift at about 1.30. It was really late, but late. we were like, you know, we were not doing anything else. Let's go check out Brighton. We've never skied there before. So then we realized they had night skiing. So we got off the mountain at like six o'clock. It was awesome and it was warm and it was a bluebird park day and we had a blast. So we're gonna head down, grab some dinner, get Hank out for a little walk, and then hit the hay. Is that a thing? Do they say that? I'm not sleeping on any hay. We're not sleeping on hay, we're gonna hit the I'm gonna pillow. Go to bed. Uh, but also we picked up our heater part today, so we may try and get that rolling. Cross your fingers and make it work. And then we'll be sweating tonight. Yep. an update oh we've got heat coming out of this little vent at about 123 degrees it's awesome so we have the stock propane heater that originally came in this camper and it works it's just not very efficient and it's not very hot so when it was negative 20 the last couple days in steamboat it wasn't that warm in here because the heater couldn't keep up so a couple years ago, I put in this aftermarket diesel fired heater and it seriously comes out at 123 degrees. I had to put a different outlet on it because it melted the first one. So I had to put this high temp one on there. Anyways, we're going to be roasting in here. It's going to be awesome. The batteries are going to last. I'm happy. It's Saturday morning and we decided to maybe take a little bit of a down day. We thought the mountains would be busy on a Saturday, especially with how beautiful it is. So we're gonna maybe find a hot tub and showers, but in the meantime, I'm gonna try to do some paragliding. We are at Point of the Mountain. Tyson got in one flight and then the wind switched. So we're just hanging out, waiting for the wind. We have moved over to the other side of the mountain that's called the north side. We 
we're on the south side. The wind switched and so we came over here. It's not quite enough wind to actually launch, but what I'm doing right now is just working on my ground handling skills, which is the first thing before getting into the air is you need to know how to handle it on the ground. I can always use practice with that. Tyson had a successful night of flying this evening. And Callie did too. I got to go up with one of the instructors, Tandem. It was really fun. And now we're heading to an aquatic center that has a hot tub. And uh, we're going to hot tub it up for a little bit and then take showers, which is probably a good thing because it's been a while. You can see my hair is quite matted. Tyson still looks normal, but... I'm not too concerned about the way I smell. I'm in it for the hot tub. I'm excited about a shower. I think my feet will finally feel warm after what seems like they've been cold this whole trip. The kids had to take a five minute break, but it's on like Donkey Kong now. There's so many kids here. Pool is open for business. Guess what today is? It's February 25th, maybe? Yep. It's February 25th. Callie, what does that mean? That means that today apparently is National Pancake Day. What? And for that, IHOP is giving away free stacks of pancakes. So we are on our way to IHOP to get some free pancakes. Our free pancakes. stars are aligning today. This morning, free pancakes. Check that off the list. This afternoon, we're going flying in an actual airplane, not in a paraglider. We have an internet friend that offered to take us up. So we're in Ogden, Utah, which is north of Salt Lake. And check it out. Today has been a good day. I had my first little paragliding session this morning with Chris at Superfly, and it was really fun. And I think Tyson is pretty excited that I'm into it. It was awesome. She took a flight on her own. Check it out. It was amazing. And now we're just pulling the heater apart even more. The heater saga continues. We got it working. The pump was working. Everything was going great. However, 
it's gummed up inside. I've had to pull it apart once before, not on a trip, but I figured it's not gonna work unless we pull it apart and clean all the internals. Might as well do it, it's a beautiful day. So after this is done, cross your fingers that it'll work for more than 24 hours. You know what's really great about friends is that no matter how long it's been since you've seen them or talked to them, when you're in town, they're always ready to do something fun. As you can see by our mess, we're about ready to go have some fun. So my buddy Josh got a hold of me. It's been a few years since I've seen him. Best buds from college. He lives about an hour and a half away in Wyoming. He said, yo dude, we're doing a little sled skiing mission this weekend. They have a cabin, forest service type cabin, I guess. It's out in the boonies. They're gonna base themselves out of that. There's six dudes going, including Callie and I. It'll be six of us. So Five dudes and one girl. Sometimes she kind of gets clobbered into the whole mix. But uh, yeah, we're gonna load up. We're gonna take off tonight and see what this mission's all about. However, Salt Lake is not over. Callie has been crushing it on the hill and it has become official. She has signed on the dotted line. She's given Superfly her money. She is officially a paragliding student. She's hooked. So we're gonna have some more footage of that. We're gonna come back from this little two or three day stint. And next week, we're gonna pick up where we left off with her. Hopefully we'll have her flying off the top in no time. So I want you guys to follow us. We appreciate you watching our part one of Salt Lake. Thanks. Behind us is part two. There'll probably be a part three as well, but stay tuned to see what's to come.